bebe mucha agua. A better ASMR. Sí, lo puedes oler. Este, este stream es 4D. Man, ese, ese meme es so overused, but it's funny. What meme? The, the, I can smell the stream. Oh, I thought you meant Dorime. That, that <laughs> as well. Okay, so. Now, Rocco, call it Frame 1 Diddy Kong. Um, he, he must have like, muchos spoilers, but it's, it, Diddy Kong really wins the matchup, like, hard. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? Yep. So going in here, Ooh, Smashville. Weird pick for game one. Not you know, Satan. No, this is the best stage, bro. Why? Bro, go con la ventaja. Couldn't get that grab off. Why? Why do you say that? Uh, Diddy, Diddy wins this matchup exactly. Um, I can't really explain it like a lot, but at least in Smash 4, um, Diddy Kong had a lot of control in neutral against, against, um, against Zero Suit. You know, okay. Banana, um, mm -hmm. it, it invalidates a lot of, um, Zero Suit's, you know, neutral. Yeah. Her, she can't really, you know, space her aerials as much. I can see why the Banana, yeah. like that element would be present an obstacle for Zero Suit. Yeah. Also, um, his forward air had, at least in Smash 4, had a lot of priority. So, um, he could beat out pretty much any of her moves. Yeah. Straight forward. And, you know, we don't see it here, but she, um, Diddy Kong also beats Zero Suit on shield since the banana was, um, it used to be, you know, safe. Yeah. Uh, safe on shield and uh, his side beat, his monkey flip. Yeah, but we saw there. Uh, he got the stock relatively quickly, and then Broco got it back right back. Yeah. yeah. You know, at least Broco is playing relatively aggressive. Yeah. Um, which is the matchup that at least in this game he shouldn't play as aggressive. Try to control the neutral with bananas. You know, bananas, the grabs, force her going the shield with those monkey flips and grabs. To get more percent, we see a uh, very good landing part of Brogo. Zonk, he's trying to overextend his combos, and sadly, this game Diddy Kong can't overextend yeah. because he doesn't do as much damage, as much hit stun, and he prefers having you know as much space as possible yeah. so he can pull out his banana. He's really characterized more by like you know one two strings. Yeah. You know, because at least in Smash 4, he used to be as that, but he had such strong moves that he could um, fade back and then try to space out the forward airs, the back airs, and, you know, with the banana toss, since it was really safe. <laughs> Zonk has had some difficulty here, like, just overall. And good catch from yeah. the top of the platform, reading the roll, and up smashing. Part of Broco. Zonk has had a little bit of, Long has had a little bit of difficulty here, like, finding a an opening to secure a lead here and now with a, a bit of a stock deficit ah that makes sense would be though that um Diddy Kong is really small so mm, that makes sense that also can be so it's easy to hit him I remember abusing Game & Watch's crouch against CSS that was relevant in the matchup <laughs> short um, characters are definitely a problem Brogo, for her Brogo missed doing a lot of damage against CSS but Falling in her grab, almost dying out. Maybe if a bit of um, bit of pummels would have done the stock. He got a bit of a, da a big He's, chunk of damage um, with the up B there. No quiero, no lo que se debo saber porque estaba machando un poco y pudo haber quitado el stock con 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 guineo a un up smash, pero está bien. But I go with a pretty secure victory there at the end. Yeah, um, creo que Long, que 
tiene que tratar de ajustarse para el matchup because I don't know if he has any secondaries or he plays any other characters pero at least I believe since Brawl it's been a very tough matchup for Zero Suit probably her worst matchup like I, I can't really say much from Zero Suit's part I can only talk from Diddy Kong's side Yeah. Pero por lo menos, like, in my opinion, I think it's her worst, one of her worst matchups. He's keeping with it. He's going straight in. Yeah, I I, I know that Love has the caliber to, you know, win the matchup. Yeah. He definitely has the, the skill and, and, and whatnot. Let's see if he can switch it up sufficiently. I am a good option part of Broco. At least finally he's asking the castle there. Try not to overextend weird down throw since it really doesn't lead to much in this game but yeah. <laughs> trying to catch um Broco's landings who sees Lunk utilizing his Zare a little more yeah trying not to play as grounded I think yeah, yeah. She, she should because um you know And he doesn't have very good aerial options as, you know, what he used to. Mm -hmm. But he still has some very good ground options compared to, you know, um, his down tilt, his dash attack, his banana throw. Oh, of course, yeah. So. Long actually having a lead this game. Oh, okay. no B. Right? Uh, um, what? <laughs> I'm convinced that must have been a missed input because that was a... I really hope it was. Yeah. Unless he was, like, anticipating him to jump into it or something. I don't know. But that doesn't do as much damage, like, when you're not grounded, I think. Good catch from the landing part of the rock. And this time we take the first stock. We saw him go for a few of those in the first game, but they weren't really connecting. And once again, Broca taking the stock quickly right yep. back. Lung has to um, get a get a hand of one of those bananas. By having a banana, um, she, she she shuts down um, part of um, Diddy Kong's very good neutral game. Mm -hmm. Funker just utilizing the platforms, looking for an opening, and he finds it, looking for the roll in. An option that you really don't want to pick against Zero Suit. Yeah, I think probably the biggest um, thing I, in my opinion, I think the walking forward and down smash would have been the better option. Since in this game, um, it's much better to be as far as your opponent, since it's um, the game is pretty campy. But he's still got the stock, so. Tough magic to secure there with a side B. You see, okay. He was trying to set up like an offstage situation there, trying to get a grab, but didn't work out. He gets the berry. Too low to really do anything off of it, but still. No, I mean, like, <laughs> uh, broma, like, Lonk is, uh... I mean, he's playing the matchup. Yeah, as yeah, he, he's not letting he Broco give him a chance. He's Stop not giving Broco a chance to find these bananas. It's what he has to do. You know, even how boring Campy it is, he I mean, Zero should can, do that. Zero Suit can play aggressively. It's just that in this situation, it's, no, it's, it, it's, it's not... No, in this matchup, she can't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, in this situation, it's really not optimal. Yeah. Right now, he's just trying to find this down smash, try to find this opening. He gets it there with the forwarder. He gets the ground, and, and he gets the OP. It stopped. A bit of a contrast from game one there. Like, we saw Broco take the first game with two stocks. Now we see Long get, get the second game with two stocks.
So aquí entrando a Game 3. Zonk versus Broco. Town and City, un interesting pick. Broco cogió el mejor skin de Diddy Kong. ¿Qué qué? Broco cogió el mejor skin de Diddy Kong. You don't like the stage? Huh? No, no, no. Broco took the, the best skin for Diddy oh. Kong. That's my favorite at least. <laughs> the, the, pe the Sprite Diddy Kong? What? Like lime. Oh, yeah. Like lime green. That's a good way to put it. I like the ginger you say. I do enjoy the stage though, Gumby. Anyway, uh. I love Sonic City. At least in Smash 4, it was. I like it here too. I like it here too. Now, but as I was saying, you know, let's see if Broco this game can try to like recreate some of that momentum he had in game one. Yeah. I personally think right now in the situation, it's not um, it's not the stage I would have picked against DSS. I would have picked at least a smaller stage. Well, maybe uh, just have the uh, you know, if, um, lunk to the back of the push. We saw their lunk missed the up B, but Broco did not get the punish. Wow, what a great conversion! Yeah. Lunk we're really recognizing there that, you know, I can get the stock right now. Why wait? Ooh, <laughs> that was a weird down here. Gets the grab. Lunk is playing really well, choosing the good defensive options here. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Broco is intentionally leaving the banana on the platform sometimes since she was like camping the platforms last game. Maybe as a trap or something. Could be a bit of an interesting idea. Personally, I still think um, Party Diddy Kong holding the banana is Yeah, good. That's, that's, that's fair enough. And a good up to mm -hmm. the stock. Zonkir has a bit of a small lead. Broco con Guineo en mano. Oh. <laughs> so, so no, so, so no. <laughs> take it back, take it back. Broco con guineo en mano. Consigue, le mete, le da algo en el guineo. Broco consigue un grab. Get some small amount of damage off. Esto monkey flips coming out a toda velocidad. Broke flinging, just flinging so you know, everywhere. <laughs> They're, this is the beautiful dance, bro. They're really, like, Lunk is really just trying to avoid. I'm in pain. Come on, bro. <laughs> this is peak neutral. Neutral. Oh, he gets the F smash. Maybe Lunk has to be a little more careful, you know. Um, Broco is picking, picking these like weird burst options that Sunk is not expecting. He gets the hit of the monkey flip. Ooh, I like the usage of the banana there to like, kind of bait upwards. Went for the up tilt, but it didn't quite reach. And he gets the banana into the up smash. All of a sudden, Broco is up a stock. And no, he's not. <laughs> We're back to a neutral situation. It's anybody's game right now. That's fine. Again, another two. Another grab in neutral. Getting the stock to 40. He left Maumero. Maguadero. He left Smash. As another possible and the mejor punish. De que tiene Diddy con ese momento. Very good banana use from part of Broco. Yeah. bastante parte del set la banana. F tilt is Diddy Kong's worst move. F tilt? F tilt. Probably like besides down smash. They're very bad. Broco <laughs> yeah, yeah, spot touches the grab, gets a punish off. He 
¡Wow! ¡Tan cerca! ¡Pégale el resto en la cara! He had an opening there. He did. Y... <laughs> y el pop-up de parte de Broco. That's a little pop-up. A little pop-up. And uh, Broco takes that game over Zonk, surprisingly there. Not surprisingly, but you know. Uh-huh. I, I, I would mean, say it's a bit it, of an upset. It, it's an upset. Yeah. It's an upset. In my opinion, it's an upset.